Riley here. And we're getting ready to do our week five learning for music class. And this week's theme is going to be about rainbows. All right. So I'm going to start off by reading a story about a rainbow that happens in your garden. All right. But before I get into this, we should sing hello. So kindergartners, hands on heads. Hello, boys and hello, girls. Hello, Mr. Raker. First graders, hands up like this. And I really mean hands up like this. Sing with me. Hello, boys and hello, girls. Hello, Mr. Raker. And second graders, hands up like this. Hello, boys and hello, girls. Hello, Mr. Raker. Okay, well, now that we got that, we said hello to each other. I'm going to read you this story right here, and it is called Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ellert. I got this from the library, so if you, when you get back into school, if you want to read this with your folks, um, just talk to Ms. Torres, and she should be able to help you with that. And so here I go with Planting a Rainbow. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. How is this possible, you might wonder. Let's read on and find out. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. See, they got all kinds of bulbs down here, planting, waiting to go. And they put little signs next to them to say what is going to be um, blooming up in the spring. So it looks like over here we got some tiger lilies, some tulips, more tulips, daffodils, hyacinths, crocus, and iris. All right, I'll show you that up close so you can read those. All right. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. And now look at this rainbow of seeds. We got flocks. Morning Glory, Zinnia, Aster, Cornflower, Marigold, and Daisies. My sister has a dog named Daisy, so I think I love Daisy the flower. And for spring, we're waiting for spring to warm up the soil and sprout the bulbs. See, they're starting to sprout. They're poking up over the ground. Look at this one. That one's got really big. Mm hmm Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. Does everybody know what a seedling is? Well, just in case you don't, a seedling is a flower that has just begun to grow. So it's a little, a little flower. And that's what they've got in their wagon there. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. All right, so there you see now some seeds are growing. And they've got these potted ones also planted in the ground, those seedlings. And now we watch the rainbow grow. Whew, look at that growing rainbow. Lots of colors all around. And grow. And grow. We have some red flowers. We got tulips, carnations, and roses. Another tulip, zinnias, poppy, and tiger lily. I had a student once named Zinnia. Very pretty name, very pretty flower. And some yellow blooms. Daisy, marigold, and daffodils. We grow something green, like these ferns. <clears throat> and some blue flowers, like morning glories, delphiniums, hyacinth, and cornflowers. I've seen delphiniums growing around here in Texas. 
And some purple flowers too, like crocus, phlox, iris. I've had a student named Iris too. Violets, I've had a student named Violet, Aster, and Pansy. So a lot of flowers, flower names become people names. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. Ooh, look at that beautiful bunch of flowers. Wow. That would definitely make your home beautiful. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. All right. What a beautiful book about all the colors of the rainbow living together in your garden or in your lawn. And I wanted to do this because I think that the rainbow is an excellent symbol of kind of our school. Our school has people that are all different colors too. We have black, we have white, we have brown. All right, we got people from all over the world that have come here to San Antonio and we all get along. And if we don't, we work out our problems, all right, using our words and stuff like that, not using our hands or doing anything not nice, all right, to each other, all right, if you have an argument with each other. So, Let's, I just want to encourage you to let's all be like the rainbow where all the different colors are getting along and enjoying one another and making this world a beautiful place. All the colors of the rainbow are beautiful and all the colors of all the people at this school are beautiful too. All right. So, and I love each and every one of you. All right. Can't wait to have you back in school if you are still at home. All right. And I hope that happens soon. So stay safe. Stay at peace. And be well. Bye.